Hi there, my name is Amir Ishaq and I'd like to welcome you to this Flutter WebRTC Let Us Learn Together video series. In the next a couple of minutes I'm going to briefly talk about what WebRTC is, currently supported browsers, what signaling is, what stun and turn servers are. After that, we are going to write some code to simply demonstrate how to capture video from your local computer. The following brief description is from another video series and it has some background music. Now, what is WebRTC? First, WebRTC, WebRTC stands for Web Real-Time Communications and it enables real-time communication of audio, video, as well as data in web browsers without the need for a plugin. However, you are not just limited to browsers only, but you can also write native apps for mobile devices. Now this means real-time communication can, can actually take place between different browsers, but also between browsers and native apps on mobile devices. All major browsers now support WebRTC. Now when you start learning WebRTC, you most certainly hear about signaling. And signaling itself is not defined in the WebRTC spec. So what is signaling? Well, there's a very short article which you can read which explains in a nice way what signaling is in the context of WebRTC. And this is on WebRTC Adventures. Gives a good example explaining what signaling is all about. In short, I would say you have two peers, for example, browsers, two browsers, different networks, wishing to communicate. They must first discover one another and only then they will be able to communicate. Of course, the actual communication, the video communication, the audio, the media flow will take place after all the protocols agree. For this introduces the need for some signaling mechanism, which is explained in that short article. In this video series, we are actually going to build a signaling server and your understanding through code will become much clearer. Now, in most cases, clients will be behind a NAT, which stands for Network Address Translation, as well as a firewall. In such situation, these clients cannot know their public IP address in order for a connection to be established. This is resolved by the use of a STAN, which stands for Session Traversal Utilities for NAT, and it's a server. And in situation where a direct connection is still not possible, then use of a TURN, which stands for Traversal Using Relay NAT, which is also a server, may be necessary. In this case, TURN simply acts as a relay server. There is a lot of material out there on WebRTC on the internet if you search. Um, but I'm going to share a few which have mentioned adapter, signaling, stun, turn, and a few others. At the end of this series, we're going to try and accomplish 
an application that resembles this and later on write a mobile application that communicates with the browser application so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and start writing some code this series assumes that you already know how to write flutter applications and you're new to webrtc okay let's jump to the console and let's create a new flutter application call it webrtc okay let's change directory to our new application and let's try to run the application let's copy the URL and test it in the browser and yes our application is running let us also test it on the um, mobile I have my mobile device so let's just do flutter run you bring in the mobile Our application is installed, should be running. Okay, so we have the basic application running on my mobile phone. But for now, I'll be doing it on the browser. So I'm just going to close this mobile phone. Let's go ahead and open our code in Microsoft code let's add a package so I'll open my pubspec.yaml and um, I'll be using this package called Flutter WebRTC. Um, so let's go ahead and look at installing. So I'm just going to copy this line here and go ahead and pass it under dependency. Okay, and I will run Flutter pub get wait for it to finish let's try to run our application okay let's copy our new URL go back here and run okay so seems okay up to now let's now go to code and um, do some changes to our application so to start with I'm going to add the package we've just added let me do some cleanup So let me change the title. Let me go ahead and do some cleanup. I don't need this. So I don't need that. And 
and I will not need the button. Let's run the application again. Should be running, so I just press R and refresh. So now I don't have the button and I don't have the counter. According to the documentation, we first need to declare and instantiate an RTC video renderer. So let's just do that. And then let's go ahead and override initiate state. And in there we can call a method call init render. which we shall create down here. Oh, I forgot we need to call super dot in its state. According to the documentation, we also need to override too many R's. And dispose the local renderer. After initializing our renderer, let's go ahead and create a method that we can use to get user media. We, we do need audio, true, but for now I'll make it false because I don't want it to interfere with my recording. We need video. Then we need to get a stream from the get user media method. So and then we will assign to our local renderer dot src object equals to stream uh, let's just make sure that we don't have any issues run okay it's refreshed but we, will see, we won't see anything 
However, we get a pop-up asking us for permission to access our camera and the camera now is on. So let's go back to code and let's go ahead and display our local video. and everything should be okay so let's refresh go back to our browser and refresh see what happens and voila we have a video um, basically this is uh, using the get user media it's a local video and this is where we start from and we'll move on to remote videos later on in the next videos to come thank you very much for your patience um, i hope this video was useful it's just the beginning and um, we've got a long way to go and i hope we will achieve this together so thank you very much and um, Hope to see you again. Bye for now.